Well, after the graduation, I was appointed to, to the staff of the Devonshire Royal Hospital, and I worked there for a short while. I worked there from 1951 to 1953. Essentially, that hospital was for rheumatic and allied health diseases. It then seemed some wider experience uh, would be valuable, and I was fortunate enough to get a staff physiotherapist position at the Royal Free Hospital in Hampstead, London, which at that time was essentially a fever hospital. And we had a polio epidemic during my time there, so that lots of polio patients were admitted. We seemed to spend many hours during the day applying hot packs to uh, the patients to try and help alleviate some of their pain. And then, of course, after the acute stage, the rehabilitation uh, occurred. From the Hampstead branch, I then moved to the main Royal Free Hospital in Gray's Inn Road, where I became a senior physiotherapist. In their outpatient department, we had lots of varied conditions to treat. I remember one patient who uh, came in most days, it seemed, for his chest condition. He had a chronic chest condition and the poor old fellow would lie on the bed and be tipped from one side to the other to help drainage whilst we applied clapping to the chest and also breathing exercises for him. But he was a very good carpenter and he loved to reward us all by framing our favourite pictures. And in fact, I've got quite a number of pictures that he has framed for me. The Royal Free Hospital now it was completely rebuilt on the Hampstead site, but that was after my time there. In 1958, I had long since had a desire of wanting to return to New Zealand, and was thanks to another member of staff of the Royal Free, Gillian Gorick, who had come out to Hamilton and had got, managed to get an earlier passage than anticipated, and I took her the passage that she was intended to be uh, travelling on. So I came out and was appointed to Auckland Hospital. Soon after I had arrived in Auckland, I think I'd been there probably two or three months, there was a, a requirement for a short-term locum physiotherapist at Tauranga Hospital. And having good friends, family friends, who lived in Te Puki, I seized the opportunity of moving to Tauranga for uh, the three months to complete the locum there, following which, of course, I returned to Auckland. In Auckland, I seemed to work mainly in the neurological area. There was a, a ward for spinal injuries and other neurological patients and head injuries and so on. And we also had two wards for all the children, so that my um, day was kept pretty busy looking after all those patients as I was the only one, only physiotherapist working in that area at that time. Mm -hmm.